All you have to do is point. Not just any whiteboard. Katie Porter's whiteboard is one way she's... Often seen grilling top executives and banks, big pharma, even top administration officials. Katie Porter, never taken corporate PAC money, never will. Leading the fight to ban congressional stock trading. And the only Democrat who opposed wasteful earmarks that fund politicians' pet projects. Katie Porter, focused on your challenges, from lowering housing costs to fighting climate change. Shake up the Senate with Democrat Katie Porter. I'm Katie Porter, and I approve this message. At Learn for Life High Schools, I can be myself. I can feel safe. I can go to school at times that work for me. I can prioritize my mental health. I can have a better school life balance. I can work at my own pace. I can control my narrative. At Learn for Life High Schools, I can control my own education. I can change my story. And, and so, so can, can you. you. Enroll anytime to control your education completely free. Happy little blue car. Oh, we get it. It's hard to say goodbye to your car. AutoNation is here to make it easy. For a super fast appraisal and a top dollar offer, visit AutoNation.com or see us in person today. Good morning, I'm Eric Spillman in Beverly Glen. A powerful mudslide here knocks one house off of its foundation, tears it apart, and damages at least two others. We're live with the latest. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Another potential danger from this storm, falling trees, where this happened just ahead. Good morning. It has been a wet and cold morning up here in Big Bear. I'll tell you all about the conditions, plus how mountain residents are preparing. That's next. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Some local communities have been put on notice about possible evacuation orders. We'll tell you which areas are at risk. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. Taylor time at the Grammys, but not everybody super excited for Swift. We've got some tape to show you. It's coming up. All right, good morning, everybody. We're talking about it, and we're going to be talking about it for the next 24 hours. Massive amounts of rain. This is a very slow-moving storm. It's not really a wind-driven storm, but the amount of rain, because it's so slow-moving, once you get into one of those areas, you can expect quite a bit of rain. We have some flash flood warnings. You can see in the red boxes there, Agoura Hills, in through portions of Los Angeles, up and around Santa Clarita, and also the foothills of the mountains. We have a winter storm warning. Temperatures for this afternoon. Afternoon. On the cool side, ranging anywhere from 60 to 62 degrees. With this rain also, we do have a chance of some thunderstorms. Same story, Orange County Inland, Inland Empire in the high desert, ranging from 54 to 61 for your daytime highs. Full details coming up. Let's go to Ginger in traffic. Yeah, we have so much to get to. I mean, um, flooding, potholes, that kind of stuff. So. First, we want to show you our Lake Gregory camera. We know we checked it in the 3 o'clock hour. That's right, because we started at 3.30, and this looked pretty tough. But this is the best that we've seen it for our friends traveling along the stretch of the 18 at Lake Gregory Road through Crestline. Like I always mention, not too far from, say, Hortensia's, a Mexican restaurant. A lot of people know it. But the one thing that's noticeable compared to when we checked it the last couple of hours is that the winds are a little bit stronger than they were when we checked it the last couple of times. And so you do have to be prepared for these really tough conditions with that reduced visibility. 10 westbound side at Gary Avenue. The thing is, you're talking about a whole bunch of flooding. That's right, cars are swerving, trying to avoid all that standing water across all lanes. That may be one of those spots where you do want to take the streets because that is just sounding so dangerous. The 210 and the 60 freeways are equally as busy, not as dangerous though. And 605 southbound side right here at Imperial Highway, the large pothole that's in the right lane, even when everything clears out, we'll be talking about those potholes for the next couple of days, maybe even weeks at that, and we'll watch where those spots are really tough. They're going to stop those lanes probably to do a repair project. I'll send it back to you guys. It is our breaking news. Southern California getting hammered with the second of two storms. Officials are warning of possible life-threatening flash floods through tomorrow. A state of emergency has been declared across eight counties here in Southern California. We have a team of reporters deployed across our region to show the impact of this massive storm. Eric Spillman and Beverly Glenn, where a mudslide has damaged several homes. Annie Rose Ramos is in Silverado Canyon in Orange County, where evacuation warnings are in effect. Kirk Hawkins is in Sun Valley, which is also under evacuation warnings. And Shelby Nelson is in Big Bear, where they're getting heavy rain 